Hello everybody, it's Kentucky here. We bring you week uh, 8 of the PwC, finally. <laughs> this past weeks I've been very busy with real life stuff, so I mean had I haven't had time to record, but uh as soon as we hit January, I'm a, I'm gonna be back on track and stuff. So, yeah, this week we take on Shiny. Uh this is a very important match cuz it's the divisional match. This match was like 2 weeks ago. <laughs> so, excuse me if I don't remember a uh, bunch of the stuff. Uh, I'm trying to find Shiny's team here. Uh, okay, he has access to Tapu Koko, Bocarona, Besiejo Eye, Blastoise, Lightnoon, Pyloswine, Garchomp, Nihilego, Bronzong, Lipar, and Mega Aerodactyl. So Shiny has a very offensive team, which is not likely, not likely of him. Um, so that's gonna be pretty interesting. So we try to put the best six months we can for this game. First of all, we have a Shukaberry Heatran. Back at it again with the Shukaberry. Shooter brought against Luna, so I didn't get swept. But uh, yeah, I'm dumb. So Flash Cannon, Hidden Power Ice, Magma Storm, Stonage. Stonage there is solely for the Bocarona. Even with a minus attack nature, uh, I believe it's a guaranteed Oko on Bocarona. And if he boosts this with a. Um, with Quiver Dance, Stonish is a better option than things like Ancient Power and whatnot. Uh, Hidden Power Ice is there for the Guard Chump, obviously. Sugar Berry can live a hit. Flash Cannon for the Mega Arrow. And Magma Storm to trap stuff. And it does massive damage to the Tapu Koko. Uh, very bulky. The speed, I remember the speed is 4. But a very bulky with 120 HP and 12 defense. And then the 252 special attack. Um, because the Gen 7 tutor moves are not allowed yet on the league, um, I don't, like, like noon, the only way you can hit this Heatran is with the dig, but I don't expect that, so, yeah, just, just random fact <laughs> thrown in there, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit drunk as well, anyways, Mega Diancy, Rock Polish, Moonblast, Red Power, and Diamond Storm, this thing can win late game after things has been chipped down and weakened. Uh, yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. Air power and diamond storm. No, moon blast and diamond storm killed everything. Air power uh, hits the coco and whatnot, and, and yeah. Oh uh, yeah, Bronson was this thing, but like he drove fucks that thing up. I think that's what had diamond storm to trap Bronson. Uh, these I don't know what the the fuck they're for. 252 special attack, 56 on attack. Let's move on. Church Scarf Lady, this is gonna be my revenge killer. Uh, Shadow Ball, Side Shock, Draco, and Thunderbolt. I really wanted to fit a trick in this in this set, but uh, I thought at the end of the day, Thunderbolt was more important to hit. Um, I think it was Mega Arrow, something else, and the Blasters. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what it was. Because Blastoise uh, is going to be a threat to my team if it's a bulky, fat Blastoise. So I put Thunderbolt there to like weaken that thing down. Because if it's Fist Death, Psyshock is not doing shit. And Draco Meteor, if it's like a Soul Best, it's not doing shit and I'm lowering my special attack. So we have Thunderbolt there. Trick would have been awesome. But unfortunately we couldn't fit on this set. Since we need Shadow Ball for the Bronze Song. Um, same if it's as Mega Diancy. Alright, next up we have Seismito holding a Rindleberry. We stop rocks, rock slide, earthquake, and scold. Max HP, 104 defense, 152 spell F. This thing it's our <laughs> this thing is very important in this game. This is our Mega Rodactyl answer. This is our Bull Corona answer. This is our fucking Blastoise answer. This thing can even be your guard chump answer as so. well. Seismito Hoping it puts him fine work again, and uh, yeah, just very standard set. Rock slag, earthquake, uh, scold. Even if it's minus special attack nature, I just need this thing to burn because it doesn't get any fucking physical moves either. So yeah, that's it. Next up, Reuniclus Trick Room set. This time with Simu, uh, Shadow Ball, Psychic, and Thunder. This hits everything on Chinese team. Basically, he has nothing to take a C Shatter Psyche. I mean, yeah, Shadow Psyche, Shadow Ball for Bronson and uh, the CGI. Thunder hits the Blastoise, 
It's the Mega Arrow in case it's, I can kill it with Shutter Sight. With like, if I already wasted my C move or something like that. Um, it also gets boosted by Calcus Terrain because Ray Nicholas is grounded, so it's pretty cool. Just max HP, max special attack, quiet nature. Hoping Ray Nicholas puts some nice work this game. Last but not least, we have Heracross. Uh, we're bringing a Guts Heracross this time. I think this is the first time we don't bring Moxie. <laughs> um, holding a Chilamberry because if I cannot control, if we bring something crazy like a Power Herb Dig like Noon, I think that's the item that makes two turns attacking once. It can like kill my heat turn and whatnot. And this Heracross, this spread is allows me to leave a plus six return from like noon with the chilamberry so that's very cool that's what's so fat with the max hp 76 defense 20 speed was for something that i can remember and then the wretch thrown into attack uh, with an adam and nature uh close combat earthquake mega horn hit every to his team smackdown solely there for the bocarona it cannot set up in her face so that's very good um yeah it's also more accurate than rock slide that's I will probably miss Rock Slide, but yeah, that's the team against Shiny. Let's jump right into the game. Uh, so he decided to bring Rodacto, Bocorona, Decidueye, Bronsong, Garchomp, and Kako. Pretty much what I expected, except that Decidueye, I definitely thought Blastoise was a better choice instead of Decidueye. But uh, this is what he decided to go for. So let's get right into it. So we're gonna lead Heat Turn. Apparently, he's gonna lead the Sidra. This lead is amazing for us. I believe we go right for the Magma Storm. Yes. Oh yeah, this this turn is amazing. Uh, yes, he's gonna be able to pop our Shocker Berry, which kind of fort. But we're gonna be able to get rid of this Aerodactyl. So see, he's trapped with the Magma Storm. He can't switch. So we get rid of Aerodactyl. Humongous threat right off the what? Right. We kill it right off the bat. He goes into Garchomp, attempts to set up a sub, so I'm gonna stay in my Heatran just to sack it off. Just to spam Hidden Power Eyes so this thing doesn't get a subs. Uh, we're gonna go into our Latias. It's gonna go into Bronson so we miss a Draco. It really wouldn't matter just doing some chip damage. Well, I guess it couldn't matter in the long run, but no big deal. We're gonna go into our Sashmitos that he does for Jarable. Here we both just gonna trade off rocks. He definitely do appreciate rocks. Because he has a Bocarona, and I really don't give a fuck because none of my months are super weak to it. Here we're gonna go for Skull Fisher for Burn. Wouldn't get it. He just Earthquake is doing uh <laughs> doing a lot of damage to us, which is kinda bad. Uh we're gonna go for Shadow Bone to the on the Decidui coming in. And here this may look like a weird play. But um at this point, Seismic Toad uh like Aero, Aero, Aerodactyl is out, and like Garchomp seems to be a sub, probably offensive bearing, probably to hit AOs at this point, and Coco more like against Grassland. So I didn't see the much need for Sashmitoad, so I went into it in case he went for the Spirit Shackle, which is what I was expecting, or if uh, he went for the Defog. Basically, he wasn't gonna go for Leaf Blade here, and worst case scenario, after he Defogs, which is what he's going to do, I can just set up my rocks again if I want to. But uh, I think I'm going to switch out. Yeah, I'm gonna switch out into Latios. Catching his uh, Garchomp, which was very cool. Uh, see, uh, we're going to Shadow Ball the incoming Brown Song. This time we actually predict this. That does literally fucking nothing. We're going to stay in so we can chip this thing down. And here I make a kind of a misplay. I switch out into Ray Uh As he just protects, but like, he would have not been able to take another Shadow Ball. So that was low-key a misplay on my part, because as you're going to see, on my own Trick Room, he outspeeds me uh, well, after this turn of Protect. And he's going to be out of range because of the leftover. He's going to be out of range of Shadow Ball. So he's just going to chip him down my Arena Close um, quite a bit. So that's unfortunate. I think that was a misplay on my part. Should just stay with Latios and Shadow Ball and preserve a Uniclose health. So we still have one more turn of Trick Room, however, which is... We're gonna use to kill this Garchum with a Shutter Psyche, and that is essentially very good for us. Um, it's gonna go into the CGI, miss a good play by just here turning it out into Tapu Koko. And here we're gonna go into Seismitoad, and here I think I, I thought I choked the game at this point. 
because he's gonna go for the grass nut, right? With a rindle berry. And we are going to go for stealth rock. So my mind on this game is like, okay, cool, I can I can win with a with fucking Mega Diancy uh and I just or like Gladius and I just need to set up rock so Boca run into fifty percent. What I didn't realize at this point is like Coco didn't die to a side shock because it's not psychic so it's weaker and then I realized it kind of fucked up because if I went for Earthquake here it did enough damage to a point when if he attacked again he would have died to a life or recoil uh yes but Corona would have not taken the 50% but you're gonna see later in the game he managed to defug the rocks away anyway so definite big 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 misplay on my part I should have just Earthquake um, so now because we can't kill with side shock, we are forced to go uh Heracross because I think Diancy can die from this from a tunnel from this thing. So we're gonna go Heracross because we're max HP, we can live this and we're gonna go for an earthquake here. So that's very very good for us. If we were if we we're like uh I mean I guess if we were scarf it wouldn't no matter anyways, but um yeah, it was good. We were bulky here because they're here. We're gonna go for a mega horn. Uh, <laughs> very bad play on my part, but I thought he might have won a roost. Because if I would have missed that, I would have been in trouble. So he's gonna defog. He's gonna go into Bocarona. His best play is try to set up with Quiver Dance so he can win. But we are packing 100% Smackdown, 100% uh, accuracy move with Smackdown, and we are going to take up a nice trio win against Shiny. So. Oh boy, this game was very crazy. Um, I definitely both of well, I wouldn't say he made many misplays. I think I made a misplay with the Seismitoad and the Reuniclus. And uh, yeah, but I mean, the entire season I haven't been playing at my best. So honestly, not even like I can, I can see that like happening. So yeah, anyways, nothing more memorable. I got a more videos to record tonight. <laughs> so um, next week matches against Rishmal and yeah hopefully we don't get tossed in our necks by the other D-Leaguer that came up um, just like XRN so yeah thanks for watching uh, later bye bye